Welcome back to a new episode of Fly vs Jerk 14. Before we start episode 5, I want to remind you all that next Friday at 4 pm we will show the final episode at the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair in Stockholm. So come and experience the ending of this crazy season together with us and all the teams. Yum, 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 yum. No, 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 no! At the moment, six points are divided between six different teams, so this will be a nail biter in true Fly vs. Jerk spirit. If two teams have the same amount of points when the final whistle blows, the team with the biggest fish will get an extra point to decide the winner. So at the moment, that point would go to Team Neistroft for their crazy pike of 15.8 kilos from the first day. Team Chaos is back again. We are a bit late. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Uh, we will see if, there, if there's someone at the trailer ramp. We hardly make it to the uh, spot in time. But if it's free, we will manage yeah, it. But luckily, it's a one minute drive from the trailer ramp. That's a good thing about the first it. First spot. Yes. We chose to sleep a bit longer and uh, use the first spot uh, to be like one minute away from the ramp. So. And there's big fish. I mean, we caught a meter and a 99 over yes. there, so there's always a bigger one. Wish us luck with episode 5. Let's go. Fly vs. Jerk 14 is brought to you by Watski, your online store for boating equipment in the Nordics. Buster Boats, iconic quality boats from Finland. One Boat Network, all together now. Westgear, your boat dealer in Sweden. And Big Pike Boats, premium boats for anglers. Final day, the day that everything will be decided. We're fishing a quite a big lake today with uh, lots of structure, deep water and lots of whitefish. Super clear waters and uh, we will focus fishing today on reefs close to quite deep water. Lots of stones, big rocks and a little grass here and there. We will be forced to have two points today, I think. Probably, yeah. Uh, in order to snatch this. Uh, and we will do everything in our power to do this. Yeah, we're going for top five. And we're going for big fish. Yeah. That's what we have to do. So, welcome to the final day. We have struggled. We have struggled. But today is the day. <laughs> <laughs> we believe that. Yeah. So we decided to fish a lake today. And uh, hopefully we will uh, show the magic of the catfish today. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll do our best to catch uh, five big ones today. Yeah, we must take yeah. two points today. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Fly vs Jerk 14. This is the episode 5, the free of Soich day. And we have chosen a different location. The weather forecast said that winds up to 26 meters per second. So we needed to relocate, so we are in a very much different place uh, today than yesterday. Yes, we will fish shelter. Let's make the best of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, uh, and you had fabulous fishing on that one yes. yesterday. That was, that was actually crazy. It looks like a crazy, we call it the crazy <laughs> Ivan solution, but it's, it's, it's quite nice actually. So today I, I will use the other solution from Daiva. So I use the, the curly tail instead. So I'll spend some time with this one and see what happens. So it's a final day. Past two days hasn't been that good for us. It has been really hard fishing. Not at all what we really hope for. With this water system we've been fishing past two days. Now they have totally turned the water off. So there's no movement in the water at all. It's actually going to make the fishing even harder. At least that's what we think. But uh, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. I mean, we have a few really deep holes with that uh, water flowing really fast yesterday. But we're really going to concentrate our fishing on those deep holes and try to find a few big ones. But uh, let's see, what do you think, Niklas? Is it gonna be... The, the only plan? thing I said to you before when we came here was like, the only problem we gotta have is uh, if they turn the water off. <laughs> yeah. And now but it's we had, we had problems the two first days, so I don't think it's, um, it's not in our benefit. And uh, reading the news last night that it's gonna be negative electric prices today wasn't really the best thing. <laughs> so, but we're gonna give it a few hours. And then I think we have to switch for another small lake we scouted during pre-fishing. It's not uh, going to be really our style of fishing in that case, but, uh, but let's see what happens. Yeah, you never know. They yeah. can turn it on and then we're going to go up in the river system. But hopefully they're going to turn not super heavy water on, but just good enough so we can fish the river. We fished the first day and if that's the case, I think we can have really good fishing up there, you know. Yeah. 
but let's see what happens. We have never fished this place in these conditions, you know. Now we actually have a, a chance to go down in all these deep holes where most, most of these big fish has probably laid the last two days. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be a one kilometer of uh, like quite deep fishing here, four or five meters. Might be super good, we don't know. Yeah. Can never give up at least, so yeah. we have to do everything we can to uh, steal some points with this up for the other teams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. not up. We should uh, make them uh, having a hard time. <laughs> it's YouTube nowadays. <laughs> Wish us luck, guys. We're gonna need it. Yeah. Okay, at least we're gonna have fun. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, there's gonna be at least one big one for us. Safety first, my friend. Welcome to episode five. Last night we had a huge storm and that caused us to change our game plan. We were going on a big lake to use the Arctic target, but it's, it's not possible with these winds. You cannot see anything. So we had to drive like three, four hours to get here, get some cover from the, from the winds and do like uh, proper fishing on this day. For sure, we're going to have a lot of pikes, I think. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> lake we were gonna fish we had a in the pre-fishing we had a 122 pike centimeter pike over there that's weather and that's fishing but we're here we're out fishing super tired <laughs> let's get them all yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome back the last day hopefully the big mama's day we have moved from the lake we are up in the river again same spot that we caught the 110 we start here and then we're going to move and fish us down and maybe ramp up and take another area in the river. We'll see. Depends on how, how this one is delivering. Yeah. But we're going to try to fish a lot deeper today. Going and for... Going for uh, five big fish. That's the only option for us now. Yeah, it is. And we had that uh, big follower the first day. Yeah. Both me and Truman has been dreaming about it, so we need to go get it today. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right? We have to hurry, my friend. Come on, bro. Smells like fish. What? Your underwear? Yes. <laughs> After three days of fishing. At least the weather today looks a bit better because it's still windy, but not as crazy as yesterday. Seven before yesterday on this big water, that's really, really hot. I think that's why we also saw not many boats. Last night going back was crazy. Yeah. In the dark, and yeah. the wind got stronger, and rain. And rain. And no gas. And no gas. <laughs> Today the teams can fish until 6 p.m. So that means to get the full 10 hours of fishing, they need to start at the latest 8 a.m. This day is also the day where the teams may fish in any water type of their choice. Here we go on this. Yay. First cast, episode five. The free show is day. Game on. Mm. Big pike. We are going for one big pike. 125 would be a dream today. Let's see, it's not impossible. We, we have no excuses now. No excuses. Okay, let's, let's go, go, Alex. First cast. <laughs> All right, uh, here is uh, Team Powerboat Mercury. We're going to do our first cast for episode five. Yeah. And uh, we hope that you're going to make that one burn. Yeah, we're, we're going to sure. burn this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do it. Rock and roll. Ch check the time. Yeah. We start. First cast. First cast. Woohoo. Right, so we've anchored right above the shallowest point of the reef uh, and the point is to cast to the left and to the right and of course over the reef as well to fish off the edges and the reef itself. Uh, you have some deep waters around so it's a perfect spot for the fish to come and rest after they have been feeding or, or hunt the bait fish around the edges. There is a plan boys and girls. I will go with Yigen 25 centimeters with the BKK BP trigger stinger system. This is, uh, this is an awesome bait, motor oil, UV, I think uh, this will really do the trick today. You know what I'm fishing with. After last year, Kumo Swim, Black Pike, BKK UVO hooks. Same as last year. Let's, let's have the same fishing like I did last year. Yeah, let's hope right. we do. Yeah, that would be awesome. It's time for the first cast. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. First cost, my friend. Do you see the bait fish jumping down there? Yeah. Okay. Now we take them. Let's do it. Today, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Let's do this. Do you have the clicker ready? This is gonna be a blast. Yeah. Fish? Yeah. Bigger one? No. Did 
just in the middle of the stream. That's good. You need the net? Yeah, we're gonna go for the big five. I need the yeah. net. I think it's super small, but still first one. It's not 75. No. Nope. Don't need it that. I do the click. First fish. And it's a real beauty. Look at the dots on this one. Hey, come here, come close. Look at the back. Imagine this one at 120. Look at the back of it. Yeah. Really, really cool. cool. It's camo. Okay, so this little guy really, really went for the giant pig shed. You see the size difference? It's not that big. You always use the same color. Yep. Three, two, one, and go! Catch one, Good my, luck, friend. my friend. A big one. In, du in Holland they say... Grote success, success. That's in nice. English you say break a leg, right? Something like this. Yeah. In Sweden they say shit fiske, I think. Shit fiske, yeah. <laughs> it means shit fishing, right? Yeah, shit fishing. Actually, this is the first time I feel a little bit nervous because it's the last day. Oh yeah, you didn't feel nervous in the fight with the 128. Uh, I was shaking uh, like hell, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I was shaking, but then it's excitement, right? That's yeah, excitement right. as well. For today. me, it was nervous. I was nervous. Let it go, let it go. Don't took it too hard, please. Take care, take care, take care. Don't push it too hard, please. Take care with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be fine. I'm cool. shaking. I'm shaking like hell. But you know, it's a long time until the dinner bell. Yep. Will ring. So. Yeah, but it's it's breakfast time now. Ah, hopefully. Breakfast until 11, then it closes. Then there's always some some people that come in late. They go to the highway, they want a snack, like a, a quick snack. And we can stay open for them as well. And then um, we can have some lunch and then it's dinner bell time. <laughs> the teams have now made their first cast of the final day, except one team. Team Headbanger had a slightly chaotic morning, but they are out on the water and they were so eager to start fishing that they forgot to say good morning to us. Fish off. First cast, man. After all the trouble, some reward. Oh, oh good fish. <laughs> man, first cast. Catching a fish on the first cast, it's okay if they look like that. And it's off. Woo! Nice. Good start. Welcome to the fifth episode, by the way. <laughs> we have had Ma some. Maybe trip. you should like tell them about the morning we had. Yeah. So I made a huge mistake last night, and our batteries didn't get charged properly. So we've been sitting waiting for them to charge up decently enough, and now we're finally on the water. We're like times. 8.30, we wanted to start by 7.30, so we're at 1.30, no, 6.30, <laughs> yeah, 6.30, so we're pretty late, but okay, sun is shining and pike are biting, so hey, yeah, now I, I, I want to take a pike as well, yeah, we need to make the best out of it, for the people that watch this show for a couple of seasons now, they know that I'm not the person that changed around a lot when I find something that works, so I'm Fishing with the same bait as yesterday, the Banger Shad prototype, and it seems to do the trick today as well. Let's have a look at this beautiful fish. Oh, so beautiful and all blue. 102 centimeters. Perfect. A fat 102 is a good start on the first cast, so I'm super happy with that. Uh, do you think we should weigh it or not, Marcus? I, I don't think it will like uh, make it in the end, but maybe just to be sure. Just to be sure, okay. 7.37, yeah. Good start. I'll do a quick release of this beautiful fish now. Marcus and Emanuel shows that after rain comes sunshine. 102 centimeters and 7.37 kilos sets the tone for the final day. Yesterday they got a whooping 548 centimeters on the top five board, but this day also starts very promising. Yeah, we're fishing these uh, like uh, edges here. Uh, we have uh, grass or weeds up here, and uh, we're anchored at two meters depth and casting out over like five, six meters. And uh, last time we were here, we got the strikes really close to the boat. So either they followed up from the deep or they were just standing really close to the edge. So we're hoping to repeat that. 
Now we're not gonna like we're gonna test some different scenarios from the drop-offs to the flats uh, to a little bit deeper because it was kind of windy uh, yesterday, so it's better for us to like check some spots out and then uh, we see if we like find a pattern and if we find the pattern because the two testing days we have had it's been different both both of the times but we found we find the patterns and then, and then we started to catch uh, good fish so hopefully we can find it and lay the puzzle uh, today because we need two points today we don't only need one big fish we need five big fish to have a chance this in this competition. Super clear water. Yeah. Oh, there oh, was there one. You saw a follower? Yeah. I mean, the forecast has been changing so much yeah, yeah. those three days. First, the temperature really screwed us that night. It went yeah. down from like 10 to minus four. Yeah. That was making that lake that we yeah. fished yesterday. And they promised Shit. that it's going to blow like 14 meters per second over here. Yeah, and it should we blow 14 meters per second. Yeah, and oh, you uh, had a... I had one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, f sorry, beep. <laughs> I missed it twice. They are here. Oh, it was after again. Yeah. So we're gonna start with a big articulated whitefish pattern. It's a really cool pattern with the saddle tails, which makes it uh, go like a really nice side to side movement. Of course, you can find it on our YouTube channel if you want to tie it yourself. So this is going to be on a 6.0 and a 2.0 and it's basically 25 centimeters, but it really moves like a side to side. And we've been fishing a lot of tails, so we're going to try this. I'm going to fish one of these articulated whitefish pattern here. Really bulky uh, with a big tail on it. And then we're going to go on a like a sink 7 line and really um, just cover a lot of water. We have a deep channel here now. So it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of casting, and hopefully a lot of cast catching also. So, but a big uh, whitefish pattern with a contrast color in the back. Hopefully, it's going to make our day. But it is fish in the water column here, actually. I saw a fish quite high up here. So, yeah, go on, big one. No, small one. Okay. How's it start? Oh, okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we wasn't expecting that, but that's a good, very good news because it's that they're feeding now. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's 80, 80, 81. 81. So first one for the, our final day. At least if we have some action right, right from the start, 81 centimeter. And she, there she goes. Good, good. Better start than we expected. Remember that now you also have the chance to be a part of Fly vs Jerk, and to do so, you just have to register your team for the Fly vs Jerk Open Qualification, which takes place in the beginning of June 2023 in Lake Vanden. Go to tournaments.canalgratis.se to find out more. The water temperature here is around 9 to 11 degrees depending on where you are. So it's still quite warm uh, and it's a nice temperature for the pike. I have a good feeling for today. Really good feeling. Yeah. Good, Jacob. Go on my left side. Go back a little bit. There, yeah, yeah. I'm here, I'm here. So fish number one. Good, Jacob. First fish of the morning, not the size we're looking for, but still a beautiful pike. Nice condition. Let's see how long she is. Uh, okay, too small, but still nice to catch fish, always. Good strike on this one. That's a nice little cabin. Yeah. I bet they're tired of those swans making those noises. For sure. I missed one. Yeah. That's why you should use sunglasses. You don't get the lure in your eye. You just bite here. Yeah. Maybe you should not do the counter strikes we used to do <laughs> with the 100 meter, 100 centimeter fishes. <laughs> I saw the fish that was actually a decent one. Yeah, it was yeah. like 90 centimeter. It took real hard. Oh, there was a 
take. Yeah, no, we again. can't miss them all. Yeah, fish. Yeah. No counter strike. That's yeah, how you it's do. a double. Double hit. Yeah. Just to jiggle it. Jiggle the anchor it. The anchor here. Yeah. That's the leader. The first pike, small one. Let's put her back. And there's uh, another one. Ah, we don't want to measure this. No. Two pikes. Double hit. Maybe we find them. Start biting. Woo hoo! Yeah. Now we change to our second spot. This is a very shallow area, about one meter or even less than one meter. And it's cloudy, which means that pike doesn't get spooked as easy in this in this uh, shallow shallow area. And this also has uh, another weed, a weed that doesn't uh, die during uh, October. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Feels nice. So as normal, we will go for the big pike, big pike uh, point. We have a good chance, we think, doing that today. We will not go for the number point. We don't know the results from the other teams uh, from yesterday, but we have, a, we have a fair guess. So that means that if that guess is correct, then one really nice pike uh, potentially would um, uh, put us into the lead. We don't know, but uh, w that's what we'll do. We start with one pig, do our best. And, and when we have done one, then we go for the top five. Oh, jävlar! That was a bite. That was a bite. Bad luck, Andersi. Bad luck. But then it, that means that there is one pike here. That means that they have approved the spot. Let's let's start harvest. That was a good sign. Look at the sky now. It's a grayish. The new, the new ghost burbot, I think. I would pick up the new ghost burbot. This is a perfect bait for cloudy conditions. Hulken time, guys. Uh, nine o'clock. One fish caught so far. Um, not the size uh, we wanted, but it's still a fish. So um, I'm gonna try this one. Yeah. Yeah, and this one feels decent. It doesn't feel like a giant, but it feels decent. I'm ready, man. You know that. It's close, now. I see, I see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This might be... Down, down, down. ...bigger than I thought. Are you with me? I'm with you. Oh, this is a nice fish, man. Yeah, this is a nice fish. This could be... A, ...one of the first top five. No, 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 no. no, no, no. No, 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 no. I know, I know. No, no. I can't, I can't, I can't. No, no, no. Keep it down. I cannot take it there, I cannot take it there. Ah, oh, no. Disco! <laughs> disco, disco. Woo! Something with those guppies. Guppies Hulk. Got the black pike. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oof. That's high 90 at least. That's a mirror fish. That's a mirror fish. Second cast on Hulken in Guppy. And once again, the BKK UVO hooks doing their magic. Awesome. Ah, I love pike fishing. It's not gonna be the biggest one, but still we will have something. Seven nine, seven eight, seven eighty. Seven eighty. Okay, let's see how long she is. Awesome fish. Really, really fat and healthy one. 105 beautiful centimeters. This is why we fish pike. Yeah. This is the first one of five. Yeah. Yeah. Five Good job, those. Jacob. Good job, brother. Nice. Nice. One fish can make a big difference, and in this case, Jakob and Bjorn steals all three points from Team Headbanger. So we have fished now a little bit over one hour. Uh, we haven't seen any big ones, but at least we have had some action, so it's not totally hopeless. And it's we have the spirit is high, we have fun, and uh, we will do our best to have few big ones as well. If you're looking for buying a new pike rod or 
adding a pike rod to your series. This is a rod you should definitely check out. This is the new Vision Pike Maniac rods. Super light, slightly faster rods, but in my opinion, perfect, perfect rods. They're not that expensive as the high-end rods. Uh, foam handle, and together with the Hero uh, die-casted in green, they look quite sweet, don't you think? And the best of all, it only counts on fly. Check them out. Good stuff. Anders, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock report. Do you have anything to report? Uh, not that much, no, no, I can say. I don't have anything to report. We are struggling, but we know they are here, so just keep on casting. For sure. Zero fish after the first hour. Here we go. Christian. No pike. I got oh, a pike. Oh, good. You did net. Nah. No. no net? No net. Should I dive after the fish? Please Jump do in so. And help you? Please do so. I'll hold your rod, maybe? <laughs> no, <laughs> all right. Shut oh, up. Oh, good. Shut up. Don't Touch. lose it. Touch. Oh, all good. right, yeah. That. That is a nice color, by the way. Remember that one? That color is my favorite one. Yeah. They are hard to come by flash, now. Flash par parrots. They are really hard to come by because they are really popular, that color, for some reason. Not really what we are looking for, but hey, it's a clicker. A pike is a pike. A pike is a pike. I haven't even brought out my pliers. My God, what am I doing? I haven't prepared myself. Yeah, you are unfocused. Unfocused. Out of focus. Out of focus, <laughs> out of order. Out of everything. When, when we say we are going for the big fish points, not really this pike, we, <laughs> we don't mean. That's not the one, but congrats! <laughs> you have to celebrate. Yeah. You have to celebrate the tiny things in uh, life. And Christian. you have to click it. I have to, ooh, I have to click. Oh, it's a clicker. I mean, my God, everything is a disaster. Where even is the clicker? Here it is. <laughs> okay, Anders, what do you say about the, the start here? Should we go back and start for, from our first position? It is a slow start. I mean, the wind isn't the problem. I think that the, the weather phenomenon itself is the problem. I, I mean, the pikes, they yeah, yeah. quite often slow down if, if something tricky is happening with the weather. But yes, I think the first spot where we started this morning has the greatest potential. Yes, I remember you. I remind you about the wind later on this day then. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I, I hope I'm wrong, so yeah, but yeah. let's go. Yeah, we really go for one big bite here. It's a really cool place. Give me a big one now. Quite deep, little stream, some shelter on the side. We really go for one big bite. You need to insist, that's for sure, because they swim here. So wish us luck for that big one. Slow start of the final day for most of the teams and there are still a few teams looking for their first fish. But this is not the case for Team Powerboat Mercury. Yeah, now we took fish. Yeah, it's on. That's a nice one. The boat is so greasy, it looks like it went through the Rallye of Paris Dakar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a tape. It's coming one here. All right, uh, Team Powerboat Mercury here. <laughs> Chasing the numbers and uh, this is uh, the pike number 23, the first hour. So uh, let's catch some more. Let's catch some more. Woo. I will feel confident, then we go for the big ones. Yeah. yeah. While most teams are struggling with finding fish, Team Powerboat Mercury are killing it. 23 pikes so far, but nothing bigger than 75 centimeters. That was so cool. Oh, that was so cool. Watch, I was watch my line. Playing. Watch my line. Here. With the... Okay, it's coming up now. Oh, yeah. it's, it's really good. Oh, it's barely hooky. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was off. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gonna tell you what happened afterwards, but I just need to <laughs> take a second and breathe. Wow, that was so cool. I really had the feeling I had the pike looking at my bait. So just next to the boat, I made a long pause and I was twitching and playing with the bait, just making small twitches with the reel handle and the rod. 
and I was doing it for a super long time before he took the bait and then just grabbed it super hard. And today our sonars are dead because I forgot to charge the battery. <laughs> so we're just fishing with the, the map. So we are fishing yeah. blind, <laughs> like old school, back to basics. Should we measure the fish? Yeah, let's measure it. Yeah, 108 centimeters. 108 centimeter. Uh, not so thick one. If this one could have been in the same condition as the other one, would have been great. But what a strike. <laughs> what an experience. So cool. We just moved back to the spot where we uh, ended yesterday evening. Catching the 115, catching a couple other fish. There was lots of bait fish on this spot. Let's see if they're still home, ready to eat this. Yeah, sitting deep, eight meter. Looks good, looks promising. We're using big baits. The way to retrieve it is um, you let it sink all the way to the bottom, let it hit the bottom once, and then just retrieve it for a couple of winds. Let it sit there, let it glide just above the bottom. And make sure it's just below the middle of the water, between the middle of the water and the bottom because that's where the bait fish are. And pike, they look up and hopefully they will see my lure sitting there above the school of bait fish and then they want to take it. The exciting thing about today is that we don't know what the other teams are catching. So even if you catch a big one, 115 plus and it's 10 kilo plus, you don't know if this is a big fish point. As you saw yesterday, we had a really big fish. I mean, it was 10 kilogram plus, but it was not enough to snatch the big fish point. So the competitors are really good, fish really good waters. But as I already said, in this water, they're swimming the real, real big pikes. So the chance is there. You just need to get them on the hooks. Oh, nice strike. Ooh, first strike of the day was a hard one, close to the boat. Oh no, just missed it. Out. Hooks are out. It's a good sign. It was yes. a real, the first real proper strike for today. Um, Maybe they get active now. Yeah, hopefully they get active. They wake up. They are not the early pikes. They are like me. I like to sleep long, have a nice breakfast. The weather we have now, it's uh, really nice. Maybe a, a bit too much uh, sun uh, and uh, but we still uh, we have the wind and it's a nice wind at the moment St stir the water up a bit because it's really clear water here so we we like it when the water moves <laughs> everything feels kind of good at the moment yep yep <sighs> want me <sighs> It's a big one. Yeah. You think you can press him here? Yeah, yeah. Good. Nice, Alex. Oh. It's not so big, but... Ah, it's a meter fish. Oh, they're so strong. Yeah. Just come with it. Yes! Ah, it's, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Nice, Alex! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Starting good! Yeah. It's over 115. Yeah, I think so. that's a 10 kilo fish, I think. It's a little bit fat, but it's not so long. No. Hold over her eyes. Yeah. Are you, are you there? Finally some bream inside. 113. Nice. No, she's not 10 kilo. <laughs> I think she could be maybe close. 9.8 yeah. or? I think so. Oh. A 9.8, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah. a 113 on Catfish 45. Monster Cat is the color, has been working really good. Team Leech Gator's first fish of the day weighs in at 9.8 kilos and that is the biggest pike of the day. Fishing is still not as good as the previous days and with only 2 hours left until half time of the final day, it is extremely tight and all 8 teams are still very much in the race. We need 
at least four in that size and up, then we are going to have a chance. We need a 120 also today. And I believe that we can make that. Yeah, I have it. All right, yeah. Good, 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 good. Feels a little bit bigger. Cool. Yeah, they are here. Good job. Oh, the strike. Good job. We fight hard for this one. That guy was out on like 40 meters. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I told you, just insist. Cool. Cool. So hard hit. Came from underneath. Dunk. And then massive slack line. Just. Oh, so cool. <laughs> My friend. Really good. I like you. Look at this rather dark back. Huge fins on this river fish. So much fun. Let's measure it. We fought hard for this one. Beautiful river pike, 95 centimeters. Let her go back in the cold water again. As you see, I've caught some fish on this one now. This is actually my, my totally favorite color, the natural perch OB on the giant pig shed. I also have my personal best on this one. Oof. Some real emotions for that bait. As you see, I'm fishing quite heavy. I have three of these fast attach clip on weights at the moment. Fishing it really slow so the pedal just. Oh, and then the strike. Bam. Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no! Beep. Well, what can you do? Nice strike. Nice fish in the first turn, and then it was gone. You can't hook them all, but yeah, hard. Felt like a good fish. When the margins between the teams are small, missing a fish like this can be the difference between winning and losing. One single fish can turn the whole competition around. Especially for Team Powerboat Mercury who didn't get any points from the first two days, but right now they have a huge lead on the number point, and one really big pike can suddenly put them in the lead of the whole competition. Yeah, double. Double hit. Yeah. This is actually over 75. Yeah, it is. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Mine was kind of bigger as well. Not as yours, but... Okay, last I caught the fish number 26. And this is uh, fish number 27. Really beautiful, healthy pike. So this is over 75. This is uh, also a nice one. Look. Yeah. Oh, oh that, was, that was so cool. I needed water. Just you to cool so me sweaty. down. Yeah, I'm, I'm smoking hot right now, so. Okay, first fish on the measure board. Yeah. Nice. That's 85. Oh, cool. Really healthy looking pike. Good. Oh, nice. It's a little fat like me. <laughs> Look at the colors. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Let's put her back. Bye bye. Oh. She was ready to go. Nice. Rock and roll. Small fish, but it really committed. You had a big fish follow? I'm not sure. I, I think I saw something here, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm fishing a, a small kicker fly with a wave tail and the magic head, so it makes it really bulky. Moves completely crazy in the water. Oh, look at that. See it on the side there? That's a big pike standing there. On the right side? Yeah, really big pike. Yeah, I think the one I'm it? looking at as well. It might be the one. How far is it? Six meters. Yeah, exactly that one. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. I saw it came from the boat. Those were all <laughs> small pike, those fish. Wow. Well, it feels nice to be catching a pike or two, it actually, even if they're small. It's super slow. The water is still off. And actually, you feel pretty good of catching one like this. We have to remember that this is going to be 120, hopefully one time and then we're gonna appreciate it a lot but take care of the small ones guys team vision is the only team without any points right now so they have a long way to go if they want to be in the fight for the victory six pikes so far but that is not enough since team powerboat mercury's clicker is glowing today yeah 
Took it on a really long line. See, seen the fish, but doesn't seem that big, but I don't know. Now it's heavy. It moves like a big one, but I don't know. I don't, oh, come on. Now, now. It's not a big one, but it's a approved fish. Well, Jump. when you miss two, and this is the first one for me of the day, you have to be happy. Finally, finally a fish. Here again, in the color Hulken. Really nice, really nice, really nice. First one for me of the day. I've lost two of them, so this felt really, really good. Really, really good to actually hook one. So, this is uh, number two on the paper. Uh, number two approved fish. Then we will see. You lost one? Yeah. Let's measure her and see. That's 83 there. Perfect. 83. Now, let's put her back. Finally, the pike stays on the hook and Team Jiga.nu adds an 83 to the top 5 board. For Team Daiva, the day has not started as desired. And it seems that the energy is starting to fade, especially for Anders who was not satisfied with his preparation for the last day. But a small micro nap in the back of the boat is an old trick that has worked for many people before. Alright, changing conditions. Suddenly the sun, the sun came out, but we have relocated ourselves. So we found a bay here with uh, good conditions. Actually, the, the water is a little less clear, um, full of green grass. Uh, so conditions are good, actually. So just hoping now for some good pikes to be here. Yeah, we're talking a lot about fishing in grass, weed, uh, like one and a half to two and a half meters. And, uh, there are reasons for that. The first reason is oh, they hold big pike, and, and, and the reason for the big pike be, being there is that uh, the bait fish are located around that grass areas. Already during spring, when the first grass comes up, it's starting to get, get really good, and uh, the oxygen level in the, in the bays, they, they, it rises and, 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 and it gathers a lot of bait fish. During autumn, the, the, when the grass starts to, to die, then it starts to consume oxygen, and no, normally the bait fish are less less in the grass that that time time of year as now. But they are still here. That's the kind of places we are looking for, and, and, and we have been successful in that kind of fishing. Just look for the, the weeds and uh, try to learn where the weeds are are, are growing and, and uh, what kind of what kind of conditions is good in 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 different locations, depending on the wind direction, depending on the current you have in the Great Lake like this. Uh, make the puzzle, learn the, learn the puzzle. Yeah, that's on. That one? Yeah. Like a proper take. Yeah, um, ooh, look at that, you just missed it. Ooh, don't do that, it's going bananas. Ah. That's actually over. That's actually over. 75. Okay, let's see what we have here. Nice one. This is over 75. So let's check the length. That's actually longer than the previous one. Really? 87 or 86. I can hold the head and you can squeeze it. Yeah, I have it. 87 centimeters. Good, Pasi. We're standing in really shallow water. So we had a couple of strikes for even bigger ones, so soon we're gonna catch those one meter pikes and upgrade from there. But first we need to fill the paper. So we're gonna let her back. Bye bye. Oh. Nice. That was good. Nice in end. Yep. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. Again. No, not so big. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, it's not. It just it tangled around. That's why it felt yeah. so heavy. I think it's. Uh, it's a meter fish. Yeah, I think so. Close. Also out on the edge. Yeah. But uh, this one's close to the boat. 
I don't know if it's a meter. High Nin 90. 97, 98. Fat fish. <sighs> she is 99. A 99. We need to continue fishing because it feels that they are eating. This one has also eaten a bit, so we re release her. A little bit too small what we, I think we need, but it's still a fish and it's nice to have some. It's good strikes. They, <laughs> they strike like they want to kill. Three more to go and then we can start. <sighs> Going for one. Yeah. So Gator has their own fluorocarbon leaders. Uh, it's 1.28 with the finest fluorocarbon. Uh, we have never had a breakage on this and we have had like 10 pros to ever fish this for over two years now. And I like to, when I fish rubber, to have fluorocarbon leader because it gets the, like the bait to fish better, to get more. That's tough fishing right now. The wind picks up. It's good for pike fishing and as we always say, we just need one fish so it's okay that we have nothing on the board right now. But of course for the confidence and also for the fun it's nice to get a bite or a fish once in a while. Yeah. But it is what it is. Let's leave, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a smaller one. It's a, it's a smaller one, yeah. yeah. But, but approved. Maybe approved, yeah. A smaller one, but it's still approved, I think. So it's our third fish. Uh, I actually changed to the new fire tail to show the fish something new. It worked. 80 centimeter fish. I hope we have to upgrade this later today, but right now it feels pretty good. So bye bye. So this is our new fire tail. It has some improvement. I think the new colors are much better. Than the, than the last fire tail. And then it's have even greater action and more stable action. This is uh, three of my favorite colors. And as you can see on those three, you can rig them in a lot of different ways. But here are the three stingers we have that works really, really good on them. So if you're going to fish extremely shallow, you can use this rocker head stinger shallow. It runs at like just under the surface. You can even use it as a topwater bait if you want to. And then you have the normal rocker head stinger. If you're fishing like a, for say down to five meters or something. And then you have the, the new rocker head dive stinger. It's perfect for, for really deep fishing. Third fish on the top five board for Marcus and Emanuel. And the point is back with Team Headbanger. It's now 11 o'clock. We have one more hour to go and Team Powerboat Mercury are getting really serious about that number point. Oh, I think that, that was about to take my lure. Archipelago, sunny day, never good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have fish. Fish, good. You're on fire. Yeah, the feeling hot. The fishing has dropped a little bit, so our total for this hour was 13, but it's still crazy good fishing. Total number for three hours of fishing, it's uh, 61. Let's keep on hammering, Lasse. Yeah, let's. We have to secure this uh, number point. I, I think we're, I think <sighs> we're close on having it with this, but we need to catch a little bit more. Yeah, let's we got it. this little fox behind the air. Yeah, and yeah. we might yeah. change it and leave this place soon. Yeah. So we'll see if we do that and try to get a really big one. Do this now. We go there. We vacuum clean that all the way, and we're gonna have nine more. We stop at seventy. Then yeah. we hit the. Road, yeah, 70 is a good number to yeah. stop. Okay, it's like your age. <laughs> I might fish with someone else next year. <laughs> I wonder if the other teams also have some wind today, Anders. What do you think? Yeah, I'm mainly fo focusing on the weather forecast in our area. So, if other teams are in our area, then for sure they have wind. Yeah. I checked. I also checked Stockholm, and it seems to be quite windy there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, I, that means that that there should be windy places. Yeah, and you are going north tomorrow, fishing halibut, <laughs> and the forecast north tomorrow is storm. 
So yep. uh, maybe they also have wind already today in up north Sweden and Finland. Yeah. But yes. anyway, probably the other teams, I mean, again, they are skilled guys, so they probably have places to hide away from the wind yeah, and, yeah. and potentially have good fishing. So we should be able to find that one fish. Yep. We will get our chances. We will get our chance. We don't get the answers here out in the wind, so we need to check another area. The plan was to stay here for a few, few more hours, but we got a little bit, how do you say, anxious to try something else. So let's do that. Yes, let's go and test a more sheltered bay, I'll see if that's the trick. We're making a like, small move now, same at the same spot, but uh, there's a similar spot that we caught some fish now, and we will try this one. We haven't fished it, but we will uh, see if they stand the same way as the other spot here. So the fish are in the area, so now we just need to find the right ones and get them to bite. So we have to try a few few more things during the day. But they're super active. Yeah. That this one actually feels better. Yeah, this one actually feels better. I told you about this other one. It took on a super 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 long line. I don't know, it could be now it's easy. Damn, it's so hard with the strong pikes. You know, it could be 80 fish, it could be 110, you know, you never know until you see them sometimes. It's a little bit too heavy to be a 80 fish. It's a little bit too heavy. And he doesn't want to come, you know, he's swimming on the side as well. Come on, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't. I don't know. Please be a big one. Please be a big one. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. I don't it. see it. What? Uh, down there. Down there. It's a, ooh, it's a nice one, I think. This is a big fish. Feels like it. Yeah. Here, 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 here. Yes! Oof. You know those <laughs> long arms we talked about? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jacob. No worries. Uh, I'm a freaking monkey. <sighs> Meter fish number two. Yeah. This is meter fish number I'm two. I'm fishing, man. You let you're me know fishing. when you Yeah, when you're you fishing. Me. Meter fish number two. They're really active here. Up on the on, up on the reef. You know, both of them was just up on the reef. This is a nice fish. Perfect. Just what we need for top five. You know, I, I think this has most of everything. You have a motor base. It works perfectly in light condition. You have a UV stripes paddle. Works in low light conditions. I think this is awesome. And with these BKK UVO hooks, you know, it for me works, you know, sunny, cloudy, doesn't matter. I just love this color. I just love it. If I only could choose one color, I would choose this one. That's 100% sure. Now let's take a look at that beauty. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. <laughs> look at this beauty. Strong, healthy, you know, this is a healthy pike, really, look at this, you know, look at the colors, oh, okay, 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 she's long, man, she's long, look at these beautiful markings everywhere, now, let's measure her, oh yeah, man, oh yeah, 114, 114, yeah, 114, yeah, this is, yeah. A, this is a 10 kilo fish, I don't know, I don't know. This is a 10 kilo fish. We will see. Look like a meter fish. <laughs> it's going between 9, 5, 9, 6, 10. 114 centimeters is the longest pike of the day. Unfortunately, it only weighed in at 9.4 kilos, so the big fish point remains with Team Leech Gator. But the top five point is now with Bjorn and Jacob. What can I say? You know, that felt so real. You know, first you lose two, then you get two. I didn't know this was 80 or, or, or 114. You can't feel it, you know, it's, it's a little bit windy. They're strong as hell. Oh, damn. Number three. Number three. Two more. Now we have a full picture. 
The first half of the day is over and it was a bit harder for the teams than the previous days. But this sets the stage for an exciting final episode. It's uh, 12 o'clock now and half of the day have passed already. It's been going fast. Two meter fish so far, so yeah. that's good. Um, we need three more, I think. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope that this could be a good afternoon. But the other days have been tough in the afternoon, so we just have to bring our A game and do the best we can. 12 o'clock report. Nothing to report for Team Nace Stroft, but that's we are used to it. Yep. It's nothing special because our time was also or always the uh, second half of the day. Yes. So it hopefully it's like that in the final episode. Yeah. yeah. So see you in the final episode. Sa uh, thanks for watching um, and uh, goodbye. Thank you well. Thank you well. Ciao. Ciao. Lunch report. Lunch report. Day three, episode Day three. five. It's a, it's a disaster. It's a Tough disaster. Con conditions. Just one small yeah. tiny pike. Tiny one, one at, tiny, at, and at, one bite. Yeah, and one but bite. But hang on, Christian. Yeah? One thing just struck me. Isn't it your birthday today? Yeah, Isn't thank you. Birthday? Actually, so it happy is. Birthday. Happy actually, birthday. Happy birthday, Actually, it is. And hang on. Hang on there. Hang on. Ooh. Ooh. What happens? Ooh. Have a look at this. What happens? I've done my preparations. All right. Oh. Happy birthday, Christian. We oh. are going to have some lunch cake, some lunch and, cake. And some, some, some trout fish. You're out <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Thanks, for sure. Thanks mate. I mean, you fish everything, Oh, don't you? fantastic. And, and also, uh, while eating the cake, I mean, you are my best friend, and you and I are into fishing. Yeah. So I want to give you something. Something, okay. from, something from the heart. Okay. So the best there is, yeah, yeah, yeah. the best I could think of. So I, I want to I give you a <laughs> the flash parrot. Oh, the flash parrot! This Lazy is this jerk is, seven and a half. You know that is yeah. my favorite. This one gave the big fish point yeah. day two last year yeah. for you, yeah. and it gave us the big fish point day three last year for me. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a that's, good bait. It's a great bait, and they are hard to come by. So yeah. many so, thanks. Wait. Many thanks. Congrats! <laughs> Congrats! Let's have some cake. Good. Yeah. It's tricky. Yeah. It's uh, hard. Two hits. Yeah. And uh, now we have kept our promise, like one fish every two hours. Yeah. It's so hope we can <laughs> catch three more. Yeah. But we need them to be good size. Yeah. One really big and two big. <laughs> yeah. And see you in the next episode, uh, because I have a feeling uh, Victor is uh, like a magician. And I have a feeling that something weird will happen on episode 6. So follow us. Bye. Bye. Okay, this is Powerport uh, Mercury. And uh, this is the end of episode 5. So we have now 70 fish total. I'm sure that we have uh, secured the number point for the last day and now we're moving so we're gonna go for that one big fish and uh, to secure the victory for fly versus jerk 14 let's do it yeah Come rock on. and roll <laughs> <laughs> see you in the next episode with see some in cake episode. in the stomach yeah with new energy we will come back in the last episode and Cheers. congrats congrats thank you mate now some cake mm. 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 well that's it for episode five uh, we came here to uh, take five longest and one big one we have two not the biggest one uh, 9.4 i don't think that will be enough uh, we need a bigger one so we will continue hammering we will get those three to get a huge top five that's what we're going for do not miss us at, at uh, stockholm next week no, no, no. Come and watch it live with us on Friday at the Sport Fishing Fair. Yeah. It'll be awesome. We'll see you there, guys. See you there. Note to ourselves, uh, you have to have more uh, backup waters if they turn the water off. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to um, change location here, drive up to a river mouth. Uh, it's going to be most likely a little bit shallow, but at least um, uh, it's a different change 
and then uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some fish there. We have done this place and uh, we're going to move with the car further down in the river and you have a dam here so we, you need to trail up and trail down. And uh, Andreas has some really good spots there and see if we can uh, we will fish snatch quite, them. Yeah, hopefully. We will oh. fish quite similar like yeah. this and keep on going for those really, really big fish. It's just a few big fish here and we really want that big mama. That's for sure. Okay guys, see you at the Sport Fishing Fair in Stockholm. Hope to see you there. Fishing is gonna be crazy in episode six. That was everything from episode five. At the moment we have a tie between Team Leech Gator and Team Jigger.nu where Leech Gator has the biggest fish at 9.8 kilos and Jigger.nu has the best top 5 at 302 centimeters. The number point is stuck with Team Powerboat Mercury who have a total of 70 pikes so far. As you can see fishing is slow for many teams and no team has filled their top 5 yet so this could end in so many different ways. Whatever you do, do not miss the final episode of Fly vs. Jerk 14 at the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair in Stockholm on the 17th of March. The final will be at 4pm and rumors have it that there will be an epic after party in the evening at Café Opera, one of the most notorious nightclubs in town. So be there and celebrate the winners together with the whole Canal Gratis crew and the teams. It's gonna be a night to remember. My name is Mille Pettersson, see you all next week. Okay, see you in episode six. Okay, see you in episode six. <laughs> okay, hey, see, you in, see you in episode, in episode six. six. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see all see each other on episode six. <laughs> <laughs>